1985 is another good year for movie releases. But which movies will make it into my top five? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Carl. It's mid 80s time. Today's video is back to the movies. 1985. This is a series I started where I talk about my top five movies of each individual year, beginning with the year 1980 and going right the way through the years, right up to the present year. Also, what was the number one toy for each individual year as well? If you're here on my channel for the very first time, thank you so much. Please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell if you can, thank you. Okay, let's begin. The year is 1985. The song, New York, New York, officially becomes the anthem of New York City. And here in the UK, EastEnders premieres on the BBC for the first time. And in the summertime, July 1985, two Live Aid concerts take place at the same time. One at Wembley Stadium, London, and the other at John F. Kennedy Stadium in Philadelphia. But what was the number one toy for 1985? Well, it's pretty much the same as 1984. Transformers were going very strong. Also, skateboards were strong as well in 1985 due to a certain movie release. And one for the girls, Rainbow Bright and Pound Puppies were also top sellers. 1985 was another good year for movie releases. I do have a couple of honourable mentions. These are two very good movies that came out in 1985 that didn't quite make my top five list of movies for 1985. The first honourable mention is Santa Claus the Movie. And the second honourable mention is a Michael J. Fox film. No, not that one. Teen Wolf. Please do get involved in the comments. I would love to know for this video, what are your own top three movies for the year 1985? I'd love to read them. I will get back to you. Okay, let's begin this list at number five. Please do remember this isn't the right list. It's just a little bit of fun. Just my personal opinion. Okay, let's begin at number five. Number five. Fright Night. This is a story about a teenager that discovers the new neighbours that have moved in next door are vampires. What would you do if you accidentally discovered the house next door was occupied by something not human? Something horrifying. Something unspeakably evil. No one believes you. Nightmare. Not your mom. They did kill a girl over there. Not your girlfriend. Charlie, is this some sort of a trick to get me back? Not even the police. Look, I know it's crazy. I know that, but look, Lieutenant! Number four, an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. This movie had a couple of good one-liners in it. Commando. Arnie plays a retired Special Forces colonel called John Matrix who's called into action one last time to save his abducted daughter. If you want your kid back, then you gotta cooperate. Right? Wrong. Now, somewhere, somehow, someone's gonna pay. Do you think that he's going to give us any problems? You'll do exactly as he's told. Last and wait, you fellas. You're a funny guy, Sally. That's why I'm going to kill you last. Number three, we're halfway there. You all know this movie. I really want to see the musical. Has that given it away? Of course. Back to the Future. Michael J. Fox plays Marty McFly, who's sent back in time in a time-travelling DeLorean, invented by his good friend, Doc Brown. Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? He's sending Marty 30 years back in time. It works! It's a flying saucer from outer space! Number two, this movie makes my 1985 list. This movie did come out in 1984, but it had a July 1985 UK release. 
So I'm going to put this one in at number two. It's a very good horror movie, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Robert England plays the serial killer Freddy Krueger that visits kids in their dreams. I always remember watching this for the very first time on VHS. So number two, A Nightmare on Elm Street. No one knows where it came from or who it will visit next. Nancy, there's something wrong with you. You're imagining things. Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> Do you believe in the boogeyman? No. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. No! Number one, I've decided to go with a good family fun adventure movie for this one. One you can watch over and over again. The Goonies. This is a story about a group of kids who call themselves the Goonies, who discovers an ancient treasure map and sets out on an adventure to try and find One-Eyed Willie's Lost Treasure. A very good movie. They call themselves the Goonies. They've stumbled onto a legend, but they're not alone. Chunk, I hope that was your stomach. No. That's the it. Sounds like Kong. Discover what they uncover. And he was full of rubies and, and emeralds and diamonds. The Lost Map. Just in case you're wondering, the biggest grossing movie for 1985 was, of course, Back to the Future, no surprises there, a very good movie, but my top number one movie for 1985 is The Goonies. Please do get involved in the comments, I would love to know for this video, what are your own top three movies for the year 1985? Please do get involved, I'd love to read them, I will get back to you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch Back to the Movies 1985. If you like this video, please do give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe if you can because it really does help the channel out. Thank you, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.